Hey Capricorn, welcome to Healing Guides to Row. This is going to be a love reading for the second half of February 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And this is going to be for the past love, present love, and future love. It's all going to be time stamped, so if you're not interested in a past love or you don't aren't currently in a relationship, you can bypass those. Okay, here we go. What's going on for Capricorn with their past love here? Okay, so we have the full, the new beginning. We have someone from the past coming in. So here's a card for the, someone from the past too. It also could be a past life. And we have, they have a lot of passion for you, Capricorn. Alrighty. And then the bottom have three of cups. They want to celebrate. They want to go out. They want to um, have a party. Let's see. We get together. Let's clarify these now. Let's clarify the fool. with this brand new beginning, new start. See, why is the fool here? Knight of Swords. So this could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. It doesn't have to be. It's just the power of someone wanting to come in real quick. They really want to talk to you. And why do we have the Six of Cups here? Two of Cups. Yeah, they see you. Like this really is a very strong connection with this person. They see you as their soulmate. Um, and that there's really a deep bond they feel with you. They think that you're meant to be together with this Two of Cups. Okay, why is the Ace of Wands here? Queen of Wands. Yeah, they see you as someone very passionate and loving and sexual and, um, they really are excited by you. There's a lot of passion they have for you. They're very attracted to you. In the bottom here, we have the moons as Pisces here. And with the Queen of Wands, that's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And here we have the moon, Cancer. So this is like someone, or Pisces. This is someone really, um, it, it feels like they're, there's something hidden here. Okay, let's see. Something might come out that's hidden here for you guys. Alrighty. Let's see what they want to tell you here. What does the person from the past want to tell Capricorn? I will make things right between us one day. Okay, so they're working on something here, trying to make things right. Maybe they can't come to you right now, but they're make, trying to make things right. I miss the feel of you next to me. And so they're really missing you. And I will come back for you. See, they're determined. They're coming back because they really feel like you are the one for them. Here on here, would you give me a chance to make things right between us? It's on the bottom of the deck. They really want a chance with you. Okay. They want another chance. Let's see what else they have to say. My mind and heart always comes back to you. So no matter who they're with, they can't seem to shake you. You can't. No one else can fill the spot that, that, that you have in their heart. And they have. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. So whatever they did. They're now the karma's coming back. They're feeling it. Okay. What else do we have here for Capricorn? I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. They're saying they're sorry they can't, couldn't do right by you, but they want to make things right between you guys. And here, my heart is telling me, just do it. Yeah, they want to come towards you. They're, that's why they have this um, Knight of Swords here. They want to come back quickly. They can't wait much longer. Okay, let's do a Romance Angel on this. Let's see what we have here for Capricorn. Let's get a Romance Angel. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Okay, so maybe when they come in, if you're interested, flirt a little bit. Or maybe that's what they're planning to do. They're planning to flirt with you. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yes, they're very attracted to you. With this Queen of Wands here and, and the Ace of Wands, there's a very strong attraction. And new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, this person... 
might not be new as someone from the past, but they might feel new. Maybe they're going through a change. Maybe they're trying to make themselves better. Maybe when they come in, you're not even going to recognize them. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There's a lot of passion from this past person. I don't know, Capricorn. Well, that's the past reading. Now we're going to do the present. Okay, now for your present person. What's going on with your present person? Okay, so here we have the Knight of Swords. This person comes in real quick. And there's Gemini here for this um, lovers here. We have the lovers in the middle here and surrounding it's a lot of passion. So this person um, really wants to speak to you about the passion they feel for you because they really feel a lot of love, a lot of passion for you. And then the bottom we have Nine Cups. You are their heart's desire. You really make them happy. Okay, let's clarify the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords could be Aquarius, uh, Gemini, or Libra. I love this Gemini energy. Okay. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Decision. Okay, this person, maybe, maybe you have to make a decision, or they had to make a decision. They chose you because now they're coming and they want to um, acknowledge how much they care about you, how much they love you, how, how, um, they desire you. There's a lot of passion here. Okay. And for the lovers, we have the world. Yes. You mean the world to them. This is completion. May they had a little hesitation for a while, or maybe you did something with this, um, trying to make a decision here. But this is a completion that you, um, really, you make up their world. It's like they think the world of you. You're everything they want. Nine cups here. Okay, now why is the eight of wands here? Lion. Leo, so I don't know why I said lion. <laughs> On strength card, so it's like you you just bring out the animal in them, the beast in them. I'm, I'm getting the energy that you make them strong. They feel so, they feel on top of the world with you. And here on the, they think you're the empress. So, you know, you, you just, they put you on a pedestal. They just, um, they know they can create a lot with you. They just feel strong and empowered by you. Okay. So let's see. What else? Let's see. Oop. Oh boy, they wanted to fly right out. Well, I wanted to shuffle, but since they want to fly out, we're going to take them here. I shuffled them before. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and memories of you have shared with those you love. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it with and live your dreams passionately. And embrace through each other, you will find the missing pieces. Okay, so yeah, so this seems like a really good connection. I'm going to take a couple more since those popped out so quick. These are hard to shuffle. Okay. What else do we have here for Capricorn's present person? Look at that one that's come up. It says forgiveness here. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Your for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think. Dream and imagine. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to do this one more time and see what else we get here. And we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transform all things. So this looks absolutely wonderful. So and who's ever in a present relationship, it's really a great one. You guys are really doing good. So kudos to you. Okay, let's throw a romance angel on this. And then we'll go into the future. Pay attention to the red flags, the signs that are cautioning you. Now, that's not going to be for everyone, but there's some caution here somewhere. Might be about this indecision, whoever is having this indecision. indecision. Someone's not exactly sure for some reason. So there's got to be a reason for it. And then 
religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this might be different than the person you normally will go with and and that might be an issue. Okay, let's see. One more. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. And then the bottom we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So whatever is happening here, whatever is transforming, is going to be something really good in for you guys in this present relationship. Okay, very nice. Let's go on to the future. Okay, now for the future. Who's coming in? Living the future for you guys. Let's see here. Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy. Then we have the Nine of Cups. And then we have the Page of Cups. Wow. So Capricorn. This person come in might be overdoing something. They feel like they're they're really involved in something. They might be overworking. But they also could be they could be anything. They could be involved in something they shouldn't be. They could be addicted to you know, they might drink a lot or do drugs or um, there's something that they really overdo. And it could be the drinking because we got the nine cups here. And they might drink a lot and then they want to offer you a cup. They want to offer you a cup of love. The bottom cup here, we have four cups. So they might make this offer. You're not too sure about it. But then, of course, if they have a, a issue with drinking too much, you might not want to be bothered with them. Let's see. Let's clarify this devil here. Why is the devil here for Capricorn person in the future? Why is the devil? It could just mean Capricorn. It could be you. It could be your energy too. I'm the talking of Capricorn. I say, geez, it could be you. Energy coming in here. Let's see. Why is a Capricorn? And why is why is a devil card here? Sun. Okay, well we won't take it as someone drinking too much or addicted to something. This could be just your energy that you make them really happy. It might this might just stand for your sign and this could also be a Leo here that whatever is going on this this person you make them really happy they see you as sunshine as happiness okay so why is the nine cups here why is the nine cups here wheel of fortune so things are changing so this is destiny this is going to happen divine timing this person comes in it's going to make you very happy as they wish fulfillment here and why is a page of cups coming in hangman wow all major arcanas to clarify these so this is something that is you're seeing in a whole different light this person you see there's a connection here you see this connection there's a spiritual connection. They're different than anybody you ever met. And the bottom we have the Hierophant, the Taurus here. So we have Pisces, Leo, then we have Taurus here. But this um this could be commitment. This could be something really serious. Okay, let's throw some more cards on it. Let's see what else we get. Now, for some of you, it could be someone that comes in that does have a drinking problem, but I think, and mainly it's since the sun came on the um, devil card, I think it's just saying that it's you. You make them really happy. But let's see. Let's, what else do we have here for Capricorn, please, for this future person? And this will happen. Divine timing. Okay. These cards want to come up. So if someone's walking away from something. Something's ended. Something's over. And they're walking away. And they're holding on to something. Um, they're holding on something really tight here. They could be holding on to this, wanting to connect with you. I think they're holding on to this and walking away from something else. But they want this happiness. They want to connect with you. What else do we have here for Capricorn? Yeah, Knight of Swords. They're coming in really quick. They want to talk to you. They want to tell you how they feel about you. And they don't want to let go of this connection. So if you already met them or when you do meet them, they're really going to be, um, they're not going to want to let go. They might be very persistent. So they're ending something I think, to come towards you. But they're going to hang on. 
you're not going to shake them off so easy and they want to give you things they want to show you how much they appreciate you so they want to take you out wine you and dine you and um let you see how much they really care let's see what else Again, yes, there's a very spiritual connection. They feel a spiritual connection with you. That's what it is. They really are connected to you because they feel this tight spiritual connection. Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they're waiting for the divine time. You got the Wheel of Fortune twice here. So they feel that this is destined. And they're waiting for the divine, divine timing to come in. And here, there might be something a little sneaky going on here. Maybe they're just trying to figure out things. Maybe they're trying to find out from friends or um, get some information on you to figure out how to approach you. Okay, let's throw romance angels on this future person here. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yes. And engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level commitment. This person was going to want to get married. They're going to want a really deep commitment. They feel, they really feel it's a spiritual connection with you. And honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Now, this is also traveling. This is a, a movement card, too. So, they might be coming to see you. And they would like to, you know, get engaged. Get married here. Okay, and then this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. So, when this person comes in, it might be the one. Because this is saying this could be the one. All right, Capricorn, I hope you liked your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.